We got a 76, about to come in for the remix. Yes, sir. Oh, 76. That's how they start off. Just watch the transformation. Watch the transformation. All right, so we got the motor and trans clean for the don't. And about to get ready to break her down. Put the cam swap and everything in there. New springs in there. And uh, yeah, keep on going. See what she look like, get it all painted up. And we about to get ready to rock and roll. We about to get ready to rock and roll. Yes, sir. All right, so let's get this thing plucked up, up out of here. So we got the engine bay cleaned up now and we got that side in there canister filter is out there so we get about to get ready to get paint on this bad boy and uh see how we land see how we land but yeah she's coming along great got one ground strap in i'm gonna get that side in as well so that way i can go ahead and paint it and be done so yeah, man, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking. All right, so now, as you can see, engine bay is wet up. And that looks good. It looks good, it looks good. A couple more spots to touch up, but it should be right. So what you have to do when you're using an adapter plate like ICT Billet or one of the eBay or Amazon ones with the uh, three slot holes, you have to grind that down. As you can see, that hump and this one here, you have to grind it down smooth so that way it be just like this. Or else you'll have to put like washers and shims because it won't let you get a uh, smooth flush fit up to the bracket and could cause you to actually break the aluminum bracket there that's on the side of the motor there as well so yeah this part here has to be ground down flush to look like that so that way to fit on all right so we just about got the motor set off in here like we want to um what we're doing now is i needed to get this plate so running these small block adapters on with the ict billet there i needed the front oil pan with the GM muscle car oil pan was actually hitting down there on the rack. Not the rack, but the uh, center link there. So I needed to raise up the motor just a little bit so that way I have enough clearance to be able to put bolts in. Because I could get one bolt on this side, but the other one wouldn't fit. 
I fought for it and fought, fought with it and I finally seen what was holding me up. So I actually found these here, this part number, which is just a little bit spacer as the part number for everybody who asks for part numbers there. But All Star Performance sells them. It's just a plate that goes right in between. I think it's 316. So that's going to give me enough space to kind of lift up and give me the space that I need. So that way everything I sit like I want it to sit and we'll have enough clearance there. Nothing to be hidden. I can put the bolts in and drop in. So let's go ahead, get that done. But yeah, these should do the trick for us. I saw a couple of reviews saying that you had to uh, slide out the bolt holes, but hoping that's not the case with, with me. So I already tried one of the bolts, worked out fine. So let's see what we got, man. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but the spacer is in there. Looks like it's gonna do everything I needed to do. So let's move on to the other side and let's see what we got in there. Hey, we'll drop it down to see if we got action. So we, we, we cooking so far. Just to see if we barbecue in the middle doing. All right, so as you can see, they worked out good. Still got a little space in between. Ain't much, but both boats are in there now. So it's not gonna be any deflection or anything like that that's gonna be coming up there. So yeah, we cooking. We ain't still doing, we barbecuing, baby. All right, so we'll come back here in just a second and keep on rocking and rolling. All right, so I got two sensors installed there. So your precious oil pressure switch there, I like to put a 90 on there and go out to a uh, to the original for the factory ones there. This fitting here is a M16 by 1.5. Then also got the factory uh, temp sensor in there in the back side as well. So that one got that one adapter as well so we can go ahead and monitor those two on the factory dash like to do that on these as much as I can just so you know something on the dash work if they're not doing like a digital dash or decoder or anything like that you got something actually uh, reading some temperature other than the Fitech system so yeah we cook and we got those two installed now got this one here this one is for my hot wire there for the Fitech system 12 volt key source that's your old HEI distributor uh, feed there and so yeah we cooking man we rolling we rolling we rolling about to put on the headers now see how those work and we just gonna keep on rocking and rolling right, so we made some more progress on there so you see the coil packs are in on this side I gotta get some more for the other side spark plugs are in Lower radiator hoses are is on. Heater hoses are on. I just set the intake on there for a mock-up there just to give an idea of what it would look like in this bad boy. As you can see, plugs are in, header is on, wires are on, spark plug wires are on. Got old ICT billet um, stuff here. So we're going to get ready to probably actually get ready to run that right quick and yeah i think we'll be cooking we'll be cooking we'll be cooking so let's do that and we'll check back in yes we made some more progress on there so you see the coil packs are in on this side i gotta get some more for the other side spark plugs are in lower radiator hoses are is on heater hoses are on i just set the intake on there for a mock-up there just to give an idea of what it would look like in this bad boy as you can see plugs are in header is on wires are on spark plug wires are on got old ICT billet um, stuff here so we're gonna get ready to probably actually get ready to run that right quick and yeah I think we'll be cooking we'll be cooking we'll be cooking so let's do that and we'll Check back in.